Well, Aiden Castle, welcome to the Oshawa Generals. Great to have you as part of the organization. We'll start it off real simple here. How did you find out that you were drafted 13th overall to the Oshawa Generals? Well, like everyone else, I was I, I had a bit of contact with them before the draft, and um, I was very nervous coming into the draft. Very exciting, a bit of both. Um, and uh, yeah, just like everyone else, they picked me. I was very excited. My family is very excited, and uh, looking forward to get started. So where did you watch the draft and who were you with? Uh, I kind of just uh, woke up really early, uh, very excited, obviously. And then I uh, kind of just projected it up on uh, YouTube on the, on the big TV in the family room. And I was with uh, my whole family, my mom and my two younger brothers. My mom so, you, and my brothers. so you're with your mom and dad and your two younger brothers. What are your mom and dad's names? Uh, Kevin and Megan. Okay, and you were with your younger siblings. How much younger are they? Uh, they're 13 and 10. Okay, okay. Boys or girls, and do they play hockey? Boys, yeah, they both play hockey, yeah. Uh, my yeah, my uh, 13-year-old brother plays 06 Junior Canadians. And then, yeah, they both play hockey, yeah. Right on. So they must be really looking up to you. What did they say to you when they found out that you're going to play in the Ontario Hockey League? Yeah, they were very excited. Um, yeah, they were, they were pumped, actually. Yeah, they were, it was really... Uh, it was really good to see them happy for me. What a moment. I mean, can you describe the feeling at all? I'm sure it's something that you've thought about over the last season or two, or maybe since you were a younger person, but can you describe the emotion when you see your name come up? I mean, how did you find out? Are you watching the YouTube channel? Did you yeah, hear from watching? You're watching the oh my goodness. So you're watching and just waiting. I mean, what did you think yeah. when you saw your name on that screen? Well, it was, I was kind of in shock at first. I didn't really... I knew that the generals had a chance of picking me, but I didn't. I didn't really. Um, I didn't really know it was going to happen. And to have it, um, my name show up on that board, uh, it's an honor, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to being a part of the team. All right, let's get into it a little bit about your hockey season. So you're playing with the Toronto Junior Canadians. Is it a fantastic season in the GTHL? And about what point did you hear that your season was being prematurely cut short? Um, about, uh, a month or so ago, right before the OHL cup, actually. Mm -hmm. So we played the, the GTHL finals against the Vaughn Kings. We ended up winning that in game five. And then we were excited. We were, we were ready to go in the OHL cup. And then we got the news that it was canceled, but obviously for the right reasons. And, um, yeah, it's, it's too bad, but we ended the season off on a high note as GTHL champions. And that's really all that matters. We had a good year. What did you learn this season? If there's one or two things that stands out for you as a player, as a forward, what did you learn? Uh, well, I definitely learned um, my, my defensive side of the game. Obviously, that's a, that's a big part um, going into the minor midget and even the older years like OHL. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely learned a lot of that. And then I also learned um, how to face uh, adversity and a bit of, uh, you know, struggles uh, as a team and individually. Um, as a team, you know, we went through a couple hardships, um, having a player get seriously hurt. And then uh, another, um, Thomas Sermon, his dad unfortunately passed away and that was hard on all of us. And uh, yeah, just, just learning how to, to uh, you know, cope with the, the sadness of that. And, and you have some teammates, of course, going to go through that with who get chosen in the first round of the OHL priority selection. Ty Nelson, of course, goes first overall to North Bay. And then Pano Femis, he goes second to Niagara. So have you reached out to those guys yet? Have you chatted with them and congratulated them? Yeah, I sent a little congratulations to them. I'm very happy for them. And I think they're going to have uh, great years to come and a great future, hopefully. And you'll meet them in the Ontario Hockey League at some point yeah. uh, down this line. Well, let's let's bring it back to the family a little bit. Tell me who got you into hockey? Who was your biggest supporter to this point? Uh, well, I was about uh, four or five years old when I started actually like skating. And um, definitely my, my two parents, my mom and dad, were definitely a big supporter of my hockey dream. And uh, yeah, I started taking it seriously around uh, 11 or 12. And then it was my goal to just be as good as possible. And obviously, uh, OHL was a goal of mine since I was a young kid and uh, it's always I've been a dream of mine to play and eventually get drafted and to have it come true to my dream come true today it's it's, it's really exciting what do you know about the Oshawa Generals 
Uh, I don't know too much. I obviously couldn't go for a tour of the facilities before the draft, um, but I know they have great teammates. I'm already feeling very welcome by, uh, by all the teammates. Got a couple of uh, – a few texts from a lot of the players. And, um, yeah, I'm just feeling very, very excited um, to be a part of the team. And, yeah, just looking forward to it. So correct me if, correct me if I'm wrong, but your left shot – uh, yeah. I've seen you, you know, play a little bit of left wing, a little bit of right wing. I mean, where do you consider yourself most effective on the left side, right side, playing center sometimes? Where do you play? Uh, I've never really played center. I'm more of a, more of a winger guy. Uh, that's just how, you know, I think my game is, is best. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I can play both. Uh, I like the left wing. Uh, it's, it's, it's good. Um, in the defensive zone, it's easier to get pucks out. It's easier to catch and shoot, but I also like playing my off wing and, you know, coming in on the right side, cutting in, making plays off the right side is, is pretty uh, good for me too. And it's, both are pretty um, effective. Aiden, what would you say your top two strengths are as a hockey player? Uh, I definitely say my uh, skating abilities and my speed and my, uh, I think my playmaking abilities. Okay. And then of course you talk about your defensive game, making sure you get back. What, what are you going to work on? This summer, I mean, obviously it's going to be different considering coronavirus is out and we're all staying safe at home. But I mean, if there's something you can do at home or eventually maybe we can get back to the rink, who knows when that is going to be. But if you could get back there, what would you work on? Uh, definitely uh, my strength and my shot. Those two things, I think that those you need at the OHL level and obviously playing against older and stronger guys, uh, you need those two things. And um, they're the summer. I was supposed to be doing Gary Roberts, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but obviously I don't know if that's going to still go on. Uh, I hope it does, but if not, I have a training. Uh, I have a little gym in, uh, in the basement, which I can use, and I've already started using that a bunch. And, uh, yeah, I'll just be getting in shape in that way, just shooting a lot of pucks, stuff like that. Yeah, is it skill stuff, or what do you have down there? Do you have a bench, some kettlebells, yeah. or, or are you just shooting, or what? Yeah, dumbbells. I, I have a, a little shooting pad outside that I can shoot on. Nice. And so, yeah, that's been good. Yeah, just working hard and trying to get ready for the season. Hometown, Toronto, Ontario. So where do you live? What, what part of Toronto are you from? I'm from uh, Mississauga, actually. Okay. Work. okay. Yeah. Perfect. So would you consider Mississauga your hometown? Uh, yeah, Mississauga. Yeah, I consider my hometown. Okay. Mississauga, Ontario, Aiden Castle. Well, we'll let you go, Aiden. We'll let you enjoy the celebrations with your siblings and your parents. But congratulations. And we look forward to seeing you whenever the OHL season begins. Thank you.